All right. I'm just getting ready to go out and test the Acuity version three, or sorry, version 4.1 power meter. There you can see it. Um, final version won't have these wires. This is only because I butchered my V3 version and reused the crank. Didn't find it necessary to uh, instrument a new crank just for the circuit board, which you can see right there. <clears throat> so, I'm going to just have to change the balance setting there. And I'm going to start pedaling with just the right hand side here. I'm prepped and ready to go out riding with this. And let me just move this over here. see a hundred percent all right and just to prove that the left side is working we're going to come on over here and I'm going to crank with the left side so now 100 percent on the other side Okay, I've got some... Ah, uh, there we go. I've um, been noticing some overflow issues that I'm... Uh, looks like we're ready to go out. I'm going to take this with me and uh, take some video in places and let's see. Alright. I really can't see, but... Kind of see that it's there, and let's just. My balance is pretty good. However, there's other issues. Leaving my weight on the pedals while hitting a bump caused some anomalies. One of the weaknesses right now is that there's not a proper housing, and there's these wires that run up to the battery here and uh, when they come loose it loses power so I've lost my calibration and then it's giving me 3,000 4,000 watts cranks are in a vertical upright position that keeps any load off the off the cranks which can cause a positive or negative torque offset we have to calibrate twice Oh, it responded. The calibration number is meaningless. And calibrate again. Calibration number meaningless. So, okay, she's responding. It might have been that it was connected to the computer earlier, so it wasn't going to respond. Obviously on a final version, the battery would be much more securely connected. Right now it's set up at 160 samples per second. So it ends up being 80 samples per, s no, sorry, it's 320 samples, 160 samples per side. The zeroing is a function of 40 samples, so a third of a second each side continuous read. It doesn't jump back and forth. Um, and as you can see, there's the, there's a little magnetic read switch by that little white sticky tape. I need to secure that better. But time to show you left and right, there's absolutely nothing around. Left leg is out. Check this in the file after. Check this in the file after. Now both legs again. 